Hello, you sexy biscuits, and welcome into What's in the Bag? That's the name of this series. So, I go into Pink Planet, as you guys know. Planet Games, Trowbridge, highly recommend them. And they no longer sell PC games. So they've been giving me all the ones that they've had left over. And I went in there today and Chris and Tom handed me this bag. Now I've only seen the game that's on top and that's it. I have no idea what's in here. I've heard there are some gems in here, but we'll go through them together. I thought we could do a little mystery unboxing because these are always fun. So the first game is Charlotte's Web Discovery Farm. Is this... Okay, so I have seen a game like this. I'm pretty sure it was made by Blast, though. Not Sega. That's slightly surprising. Okay, discover and learn with Wilbur and his friends. Watch scenes from the movie and learn as you play Wilbur, Charlotte, and their friends on Zuckerman's farm. I always get mixed up between this and Babe. I think they're basically the same, right? <laughs> I've never seen... Charlotte's Web, I've only ever seen Babe. So it looks like a, a kid's mini game collection. So, um, yeah, not for me, but awesome. Okay, we've got Robot. Wasn't this the one with Robin Williams? Wasn't this Robin Williams' character? I've never seen the movie and I heard okay things about it. It looks like a third person platformer and I quite like third person platformers. Unfortunately, they're very few and far between nowadays. So that's amazing. I might actually give that a go. Next up we have, ooh, <laughs> look at those skills. Uh, we've got Lara Croft's Cricket. Uh, <laughs> Brian Lara Cricket. Yay. Do, do you guys want this? I don't, I don't want it. I, I'm okay, thank you. We have Br Brian Lara. I'm very confused. <laughs> hey, thanks, guys. They said when I went in there that they went through to find the expensive ones and gave me the rest. Is this just going to be a bag full of Brian Lara cricket? <laughs> I bet you there's one more copy in here. God damn it. I'll put that in the crud pile. Next up, we have Shift. 24-7. More for yourself through 27 action map levels of puzzles, weapons, and enemies. This is quite old because it's PC CD as opposed to PC DVD. Um, oh, oh, that's uh that's very uh old. <laughs> uh it's from what's this from? Does it say I can't see a date on here, but I'm gonna say this is late 90s, right? Unless this is one of those kind of Badly made games from like 2005 that no one bought. Um, yeah, not great hopes for that one. Next up, we have Total War Rome 2. This is quite a good game, right? I thought this was quite beloved, maybe. Oh, hang on. It's Steam. That's not going to work, is it? <laughs> and that's mainly the reason they stopped selling PC games. Because Steam, unfortunately, has made it incredibly difficult um, to have games that haven't had the codes be used. This might work. So that is a really cool thing. So it does have three discs. So that's going to be fun. But yes, I don't know if I own this. If I don't, then uh, I'll give that a download if you want to see a video. Next up, we have Ghostmaster. Whoa. Oh, Empire. Oh, I remember that company. Okay, uh, Explosive as well. Okay, this looks quite good. It's like, uh... oh, I, I was going to say it looked like a top-down game, but then you have that picture. Groundbreaking Artificial Intelligence. Yeah, I've heard of this game. Uh, <laughs> don't be frightened. Be frightening. In this unique haunting game, you are one of the terror... You are the one to terrorize. Oh, so you play as the ghost. That could be interesting. Okay, that's going to go on the interesting pile. Next up, we have... Oh, my good God. <laughs> what did I say? What did I... What? Oh, my God. Look at this bloody collection of video games I have right now. Oh, I'm, I'm rolling in it. Oh, Brian Lara, eat your bloody heart out. I've got all your games. Next up, we have Vectroids. It's a get... It's new. Oh, my God. It's actually new. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I'm just going to throw that in the crud pile of me. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. Look, what is this? There's nothing, I swear to God, and I'm not just saying this. There is nothing on that screen. 
I don't think, oh, hang on, I can just about make out an asteroid. And that's with my own eyes, that's not with the camera. Oh boy, uh, high quality sound effects. Mm -hmm. Smooth vector graphics. Mm -hmm. Great music. <laughs> hang on, pause and resume is a feature. Bloody hell. Okay, well that's gonna go on my pile of crud games. We're gonna have our Brian Lara cricket pile. Perfect. And we're gonna have the crud games over here. Okay, next video game is Midnight GT. Primary Racer <laughs> by Adrenaline. Um, this, oh. <laughs> some some chunky graphics there. I, I don't know. That looks all right. That looks like PS1 era. Um, this was made in 2001. So, yeah, late PS1, early PS2 era. That might be interesting. Hang on. This Fast and Furious racing game is situated around the infamous exploits of the revered Japanese night racing fraternity, the Midnight Club. This is like before Midnight Club, and they got the rights to that group. And then Rockstar came along and were like, no, we're, we're having it. Thank you very much. So in theory, this is a prequel to Midnight Club. Okay, that might be interesting. Okay, next up we have Shrek the Third. I've never played this game. I didn't even know they made a Shrek the Third video game. I've actually completely forgotten the plot of Shrek the Third. <laughs> oh, it's the one with the... Yeah, oh, it's bits pants. I didn't like Shrek 3. I didn't like Shrek... Well, I did like Shrek 2. Not as much as the other ones. The, what, the latest one. The one that no one's seen. The one where he goes back in time and it's basically a redo of the original movies. Very, very good. I did like that movie. Uh, but I've never played a Shrek game. So uh, this is going to go on the interesting part because... It's a, uh, a 3D platformer. Very nice. Mass Effect what sealed? Oh, now that's fancy. This is definitely going on the uh, keep pile. Good God, that's awesome. Now, I do own this on Steam, I think. And I think I also have it on um, EA Access thingy. But uh, the fact I've actually got a physical copy, which I don't own... Is amazing. So that is going to go on the, the fancy pile. Next up, we have Clifford. <laughs> Clifford's reading. Uh, learning to read with... God, that font's really bloody hard to read. Learning to read with Clifford is big fun. Yes. Yes, it is. That's going on the... That's going on the cool pile. <laughs> Next up, we have Gummy Bears. Okay. Swing, shake, and blast your way through the gummy kingdom to return the gems to the gummy bear medallion. It's a 3D slash 2D platformer. I think it's 2D. Either way, it's a it's a collectathon. I like collectathons. Mutant Storm. <laughs> it's this uh oh boy. Uh, PC gamer though, so um kinda looks like uh that game, Geometry Wars. Kind of. Um, but it's kind of like Geometry Wars crossed with Benson's hacking game on the Vita. You remember that? The uh, Sly Raccoon spin-off? I'm very weird. I know I have a lot of knowledge of video games. Um, yes, it kind of looks like a mix between that and... What was that game uh, where you kind of like went round on like a circle? It was an old game and you like shot in front of you. But everything was like on a grid. It was one of the old arcade games. It kind of looks like that. So, uh, interesting, I think. This is kind of a middle ground. I'm not too interested, but kind of interested. Next up, we have... Glory of the Roman Empire. Focus Home Interactive. Well, I know those guys. They're, they're pretty cool. Oh, hang on a bloody minute. That's a weird case. Um, that's odd. <laughs> I've never seen a case like that. Uh, it's a map. On the back of the... What? Okay, this is new as well, so... I, I don't know. Is it a city builder? I'm assuming it's a city builder strategy game. And yeah, you've got barracks and stuff, so... That's going to go on the interesting pile. Bum -ba -da -bum -ba -da -ba. Ankh, Heart of Osiris. Also new. Oh, this is very... Thank you, Pink Planet. You are amazing. I love you. Um, this is... Quite a good game from the reviews down there. You've got 82% on GameStar, which I've never heard of. Powerplay, which I've never heard of. PC Action, which I've never heard of. Um, yeah, so includes Code Wheel. 
Huh? Is this a 3D game? Oh no. It's a it's a one of those point and click games. I'm terrible at those. It's got puzzles in it. I'm gonna no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going in the... Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't get on well with puzzles. I've never completed Portal. Puzzles in video games, I just can't get my head around. So, yay! Uh, we've got Glacier Racer. <laughs> Boy, that artwork. <laughs> oh, that looks... Um, yeah, grab it and throw it in the bin. Uh, yeah, it's... Mmm. Uh, yeah. It's sealed. It, it's a game. It's probably about, what, 200 megabytes? Yes, yes, 200 megabytes. Oh, no, hang on. 300. It only needs 256. What, is that RAM? Yeah, I've, I've beaten that slightly with my 64 gigabytes of RAM. Right, okay, let's go for the next one. And this is Combat Cars. They've been watching too much Knight Rider. They put K's after everything. Uh, let battle commence. That grammar is awful. Okay, uh, this is a, oh, oh, it's a top-down driving game, but not the good kind, like MASH. No, though, no, this is this is the old school, like, bird's eye view that's awful. I'm just gonna, just gonna, there you go. Okay, uh... <laughs> Aliens versus Predator. Uh, now I've heard good things about this. Like this is a classic, right? This is actually a very good game, and it comes with the expansion pack. That's a very cool find. I've heard good things, so yes, that's going to go on there. Plus, it's made by Sierra. Pretty fancy. Space Tribber. Furious arcade action. No plot. No story. No friends. <laughs> My life, really, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You just read from there, and it's literally just a description of my life. It's a shmup, and I quite like shmups. So this is going to go in the good pile. All right, what else have we got here? Uh, we've got, the hell is that? Is <laughs> that Ant-Man. Hang on a minute, that's the ant guy that's attacking those men in the in Mafia Definitive Edition. There's a comic book. And this is the ant guy that's attacking all those people, right? So we have this ant guy, and he's got these three guys shooting at him, and he's he's taking one guy out. They kind of deserve it if they're shooting the poor bastard. He's probably just crash-landed, and he has bloody humans shooting at him. Ah, bloody humans. Wow, what a weird crossover. Uh, solitaire antics on your computer or on your Palm OS. Cool. <laughs> My dad would have loved this. He played solitaire every night. No joke. He played solitaire every night at about nine. So I'd always walk in on him playing it. Um, he would have adored this, probably. I'm going to put that in the no for me pile. Kevil. Ke Kevil? Seville. Seville. Um, it's... French, isn't it? It, it looks French. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm just imagining that that's a French guy, right? It looks French. Am I wrong in saying that? I don't think so. I think this is French, right? Uh, charming, witty, 3D colourful graphics. That looks quite nice. Oh, it's it's another... Hang on, wait, what? A wild and wacky adventure in the style of Monkey Island. So I, I thought this was going to be a, a point and click. But then it says, in the style of Monkey Island and Shrek. But Shrek's not a point and... That's a very weird description. Is it 3D? Is it using, like, photographs in the background like some of the older point and click games did? This is interesting. I like this. I might give this a go. So we're just gonna put this on the cool pile. All right, what else we got in here? We've got Chicken Little. Um, never saw the film. Uh, is it a 3D platformer? Probably. Yes, so that's going on the good pile. Awesome. Next up, we've got Ankh in the Heart of Osiris. Next up, we've got Ankh in the <laughs> Imagine if it was the same bloody one. Enemy Engaged 2, the sequel to the award-winning Enemy Engaged. I'm hoping that's in here. Uh, voice controlled. My neighbours are going to hate me. Um, I uh, Cool. It's, it's a helicopter game. This could be interesting. Next up, we have Far 
Cry 2. That's a brilliant video game. I already own it on Steam. Um, but yeah, I'll keep that. That's nice to have physically. Actually, there's no there's no sellotape on this one. Can I have a look inside? Oh, it comes with the map. Oh, very fancy. Getting down to the last five or six games here. So, we've got Sonic Heroes. That's heavy. Good God, why is that so heavy? I like Sonic Heroes. Um, if it's using a keyboard and mouse, though, that's going to be horrible. There's something else in here, right? There's a massive book in here. I think it was the book. It's just so bloody heavy. Like... Why do you need this much for Sonic Heroes? Hey, I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. Hey, it's me. Eat one, two, three, Omega. Uh, that's what they sound like. <laughs> okay, there you have it. That's going to go on the good pile. All right, last couple here. What have we got? Scooter Pro. Yep. <laughs> uh... Mm. It's Tony Hawk's, isn't it? it I don't know. It, ooh, this looks really cheap. Uh, this is awful looking. I'm going to be honest. I'm just going to come out and say it. it looks awful. This came out around the same time as, what, Tony Hawk's 3? And it looks like worse than Tony Hawk's 1. So, good job, guys. You did a good one. The Sims making magic. Ooh, about to show wow wow. Uh, it's a Sims expansion pack for the Sims game I don't own. <laughs> so, yay. <laughs> Next up, we have Alan Hansen. Yeah, Alan Hansen's Sport Challenge. Is he is he a is he a football guy? Is he a, a golf guy? I don't bloody know. Um, oh, it's. <sighs> Uh, oh boy, I, I, well, I hate all sports, so that's going immediately in the crud pile. Sorry, sorry, Alan, if you're watching this, it's not you. It's not, it, it is you. It's you. I'm sorry, Alan. Okay, uh, next up we have FIFA 2005. <laughs> do you want this, Alan? It's yours. It's all yours. Actually, you know what? I, I do like a couple of games on FIFA every now and again. I don't like football. <laughs> But playing FIFA every now and again, like once a year, it's okay. It's not too bad. But uh, this is going to go in the eh, pile. Okay, right. There are four more games in here. So let's see what the last four are. We've got Bugdom. It's a bug-eating world and you're on a mission to rescue your ladybug friends. Um, take two. Okay, uh, that's a foot. Uh, there is some, but it's Bugs Life. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of that game Grounded that only came out recently. Uh, oh, it does support gamepads. For that alone, I'm going to put this on the interested pile. Because <laughs> I like using a gamepad on my games. Oh, Scooby-Doo 2! I bloody love Scooby-Doo, the live-action movie, so that's amazing. What is this? Is a 3D platformer. Wait a minute, hang on. No, it's a top-down side-scrolling. No, Why? Why? What have you done to Scooby-Doo? Uh, 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 mm, I don't know. It's it's quite... Um, it's, it's, well, let's make a new pile. This is the... Hang on. Oh, God. Oh, everything's gone wrong. We'll create a new pile. This is the good pile. This is the Brian Lara pile. This is the Alan Hansen crap pile. This is the... Uh, pile. And this is Scooby-Doo pile. Brilliant. Last two games. Uh, Far Cry 1! Hey, that's cool. Well, that can go with Far Cry 2. Bloody brilliant. And the last game is... If it's Brian Lara, I'm going to throw it out the window. <laughs> it's an absolute terror. <laughs> oh, yay, I know this game. I, I, I've got this game. Um, it's awful. It's awful. And a... Wait, hang on. Anime Magna style <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is the shit you'd pick up in CX back in the day for like 10p. Ah, uh, an Anime Magna style. They thought it wrong twice, right? It's manga. Am I wrong? 
You're a member of an elite fighting force operating on a... And also, a manga is, is the book variant, and anime is the, is the animated, like, TV show variant. <sighs> anyway, um... Laser turrets at strategic locations in order to lure the enemy forces into an ambush. Great action strategy. Because that looks like the front. <laughs> what? what? No, stop lying. Oh, right. That's a crap way to end. This is going to go on the awful Alan Hansen pile. Uh, right, okay. So we've got the good pile. I'm really happy with the good pile. I think we, we, we got some good games here. Uh, we've got some fantastic games. We've got Far Cry, Shrek the Third. Uh, we've got Take Advantage, which is a horrible thing to say. Uh, we've got Sonic Heroes, Far Cry 2. Uh, enemy engaged to Chicken Little Kavil. Uh, we got Space Tripper. We got Aliens vs. Predator Gold Edition. I'm very happy about that one. Glacier Razor. Uh, we've also got Gummy Bears. Clifford Reading, of course. Mass Effect. And my possibly the best one here is the Rome 2, right? Probably. And Mass Effect. That's probably the one I'm most excited about getting even though i already have it and i have it installed on my xbox but uh it's still nice to have a physical copy of that game right yeah what do you guys think comment down below and tell me i'm very happy about this this is this is a lot of fun thank you again to pink planet and tom and chris you guys are amazing head there it's in trowbridge it's amazing one of my favorite stores to go to i'm always there so if you want to bump into me then uh Head there. I may do a little meetup at some point. That could be fun. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. But until next time, that's me. Out. Bye, guys.